it's hard to follow up a month like August. Every year, the August night sky wows with the poor side's shower and a host of other astronomical events. But this year, September does its best. The September night sky is full of interesting astronomical events. This month, astronomy lovers will witness a series of planet-gazing opportunities, a few other celestial objects, and of course, the September equinox. Whether you're new to stargazing or just seeking some of the other interesting astronomical sights, there's plenty to see in the night sky in September. On September 1, peak of the Origid meteor shower, Auriga is one of my favorite winter constellations. Its big bright stars are easy to spot in the sky. And while it's not winter yet, Auriga is beginning to rise in the sky. With it comes its own meteor shower. The Origid meteor shower is definitely a minor shower. Its maximum rate, Idjur, is only about 6 meteors per hour. That said, if you're out stargazing on September 1st, you might spot a few of them. The moon will be 92% illuminated and may pose interference to starting September with shooting stars. Just be prepared and keep scanning the whole sky to see any you can. September 4, conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter. Next up is Jupiter's best viewing opportunity of the month. After sunset on September 4th, the Moon and Jupiter will appear close together in the sky. At their closest, they'll be a mere three dieg four apart, about the distance of the three stars in Orion's belt. For context, it won't be hard to spot either. The Moon will be 67% illuminated and Jupiter is always eye-catching. So this is a great event if you're trying to stargaze with kids or love moongazing while out under the stars. September 9. Peak of the Ypresade Meteor Shower. September is not known for its meteor showers. Even those do that occur have a hard time comparing to the show the Persades put on in August. Still, any chance to spot them is worth trying if the skies are clear. At their maximum, you can look for roughly 5 Ypresades per hour, coming from the general area of the constellation Perseus high in the southwest sky. Like we said, not as spectacular as Persids, but still interesting. September 18, Venus at greatest brightness. Have you noticed it lately? Venus is real bright, y'all. You can't say you haven't seen it if you've been up before the sun lately and looking eastward. This is because Venus is reaching its greatest brightness on September 18th. This is the brightest Venus will be in the morning sky before it starts to swing back toward the sun and eventually appear in the evening skies again. On September 19. Neptune at opposition. For those not familiar with the term opposition, it means that Neptune and the Sun will be opposite of one another with Earth in between, kind of like the alignment of an eclipse over huge distances. The Sun will brightly illuminate Neptune, making it a great time to view everyone's favorite dwarf planet. September 22, September Equinox, Temple. On September 22nd this year, the seasons officially changed. The September equinox quelled the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere and the vernal equinox in the southern hemisphere, signals the point where Earth experiences roughly equal lengths of day and night. While there is no night sky event to view for the equinox, it's a cool time to consider our planet's place in the solar system and how we orbit around the Sun. September 23, Mercury at its morning peak, since Mercury is so close to the Sun, we can only observe it when it reaches its highest Aka visually furthest from the Sun. This occurs cyclically as part of Mercury's 88-day orbit. Sometimes Mercury reaches its peak in the morning and in the evening. September 26. Close Approach of the Moon Saturn After two close approaches in August, Saturn doesn't appear near the Moon again until the end of September. Specifically, on the night of September 26, the Moon and Saturn will appear within 2 dg 25 of each other in the night sky. As in August, the Moon will again be bright and using a telescope or binoculars will help reveal more wonders of both solar system objects. September 29's Full Moon The Moon phase for September 29, 2023 is the Full Moon phase. 
In this phase, the moon is 100% illuminated when seen from Earth, hence the name full moon. The full moon happens when the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun. In September, the full moon will also be known as the full harvest moon and will occur on Friday, September 29, 2023 at 557 MAT or 1057 AIUTC. The September full moon will be the full moon in Aries. I hope you will enjoy the September 2023 astronomy events. If you enjoyed watching the video, do give us a like. Also, share the same with astronomy lovers and subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.